Welcome back. Hold your horses. Only authorized personnel pass this point. Of course. We didn't come here just to sit in the lobby. Very well. If that's Vice President Kresnik's decision, I will abide by it. Huh? Luger's been made Vice President of Spirius? Correct. His promotion is effective immediately. You may use the CEO's office as you see fit, until he returns from his departure. This way. Promoting Luger to Vice President out of the blue. They're up to something. Huh? Before we jump to any conclusions, let's go get the whole story. The CEO has left you a message. Luger, if you're watching this, know that I intend to travel to the land of Canaan and put an end to Origin's trial. This'll be interesting. But not before I tell you the full story. You see, it was all a game. The Fractured Dimensions, Canaan, all of it. Just a giant game, created by the primordial spirits, Kronos, Maxwell and Origin. That's right. And they've been playing it ever since humanity figured out Spyrex two millennia ago. The three spirits disagreed over whether humans could truly control Spyrex technology or not. So they devised an experiment to reveal mankind's true nature. They wanted to see for themselves if human beings were capable of resisting the temptation of ultimate power. This was before the schism, you see. Back in the old days when Maxwell still trusted humans. So the Chromatis was a test. Kronos granted the Chromatis to the Kresnik family as a means to measure how well humans can suppress their base desires. If someone reaches the Great Spirit origin before a million divergence catalysts appear, mankind passes the test. If no one does, then mankind fails and the spirits leave. That was their pact. <laughs> but here's the catch. The game was rigged right from the very start. As was passed down, Origin will grant the wish of the first human who comes before him. No human could resist such a prize. It fostered greed amongst the people. As a result, the Kresniks were constantly at war over it. Thanks to all of their bickering, catalysts and fractured dimensions have multiplied like rats. A vast number of people across all the dimensions transformed into catalysts, and as a result, were destroyed. It's likely now that their number is approaching one million. The Spirius Corporation was established to put the brakes on this whole disaster. I haven't forgotten the reward I promised. You no longer have to worry about that pesky loan. Now, just leave the rest to me. I will create the world that your generation deserves. Hey, Luger! You're not gonna believe what just happened! The bank president stopped by just now, and guess what? He said that I don't need to bug you about your loan anymore! What? How'd you manage to pull that off? Wait, you're not blackmailing anybody, are you? You verified the reward. Bakor left for the land of Canaan, correct? Yes. He promised to tell us how to get inside. I wasn't informed. All right, if that's how you want to play it, then let me ask you this. How does he plan to make it past Kronos? The Chromatis came from Kronos. Bakor wouldn't be able to use it against him. I don't know. What happened to El? Excuse me, I'm running late for a meeting. You know, I'll bet you that the CEO is planning to use El to kill Kronos. Uh, 
Direct for Rideau. I believe our guest's business has concluded here. Th we're not finished here. Forgive me for my silly comments back there. How might I help the new vice president? Sorry, but I'm afraid that is top secret. L was the true key of Kresnik. Origin's power flows through the key. One only comes along every few generations, and the key is the trump card in the trial. As you can imagine, he or she is always at the center of Kresnik's family feuds. The most recent key was the CEO's wife till she was killed. Not that you have any relation to that one. Precisely. The Prime Dimension's true key of Kresnik. Years ago, the CEO used his wife's power in a battle against Kronos. It cost her her life. That didn't sit well with the eldest son. He fled the nest and started his own family, or so the story goes. <sighs> to make a long story short, the only way to reach Origin is to defeat Kronos. And the only thing that will defeat Kronos is the power of the Void, which is wielded by the key of Kresnik. Of course, the power needed to beat Kronos would immediately transform the key into a divergence catalyst, and that's the rub. Oh, 
Oh, please. Don't try to act so high and mighty. You had no qualms at all about using the girl's power willy-nilly. <clears throat> details from Rideau. He was only supposed to keep you occupied. I'm sorry for tricking you, but please understand. This sacrifice is necessary to make a world purely for humans. Yes, you heard correctly. When I finally fulfill Origin's trial, I will wish for all spirits to surrender their will. They will become mankind's loyal tools. What? But do not worry. Their first task will be to eliminate all fractured dimensions. <laughs> Give me that. Luger, it's me. Hell? I'm gonna fix it all so you don't have to do scary stuff anymore. I'll use my wish to make sure nobody ever has to disappear again. Mr. Bakor says that only I have the power to do that. So don't come after us, okay? I'm fine, really. I know I broke our promise, so I'm sorry. Forgive me. Elle! I'm sorry. The GHS you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please try again. Nothing to do now but leave things to the CEO, I suppose. If we go charging in, he'll just use us, just like he's going to use L. Shut up! If you continue to resist, I'll call security. We're not going anywhere until we hear the rest of the story. Luger. Did you find out anything? <laughs> Turning spirits into tools. So that was Bakura's plan all along. And to think he'd use a little girl like Elle. Not if we can help it. Let's get to Kanan. How do we get inside? We must find Julius. He will know how. We better hurry. Hold on. The Vice President is not to leave the premises. CEO's orders. Wait. Luger, you know better than anyone just how fragile this world really is. No one would blame you for turning back and enjoying the life you've made for yourself. You seem determined. And yet, appearances can be deceiving. I'll judge your conviction myself. Are you two really okay with this? Jude, please do not interfere. Allow me to test your will. Here and now. Full strike! No! Burn! Crushing ball! Strike four. Wind lamp! Crushing ball! Guard! Water! Overdrive! Lightning! 
It appears that you are still fully capable of using your chromatis. <laughs> that can only mean that L is calling out to you. Please forgive me for playing rough with you. I needed to be certain of your resolve. The trial waiting at Canaan will be far more difficult than we can imagine. If you come with us, then it's entirely possible that you may lose everything that you've worked for. Then trust me when I say I will do everything to help you protect it. Just the same as Jude and our friends once did for me a year ago. Good, it's settled. Let's go. <laughs> Had to have the last word, huh? Not a step further, Vice President Kresnik. I know it sounds cliché and all, but orders are orders. Move, Ivor. I don't have time for your games. Uh, I'm afraid I cannot do that, Lady Mila. <laughs> I never realized bossy girls were such a turn-on. So cold, so ruthless, uh, so... What a creep. Need assistance? Hope you don't mind. Well, well, well. The royal pain has come to hold court. But my head will roll if I don't stop Luger from leaving. And I happen to like my head. You think your corporate cronies can stop us? Spelled my arts! How is that possible? 
It's the Lance of Kresnik. A portable version, sure, but as you can see, it gets the job done. This will be fun. I wonder if Lord Maxwell will moan as I suck the mana out of her. Don't speak to her like that! And how dare you speak to your boss like that? Ugh! risk your life to save this sniveling coward? You really are a benevolent deity. He's still my handmaid. I don't recall ever dismissing him from the position. Lady Mila. Such a stubborn and proud spirit. But not for much longer. Any ideas, Luger? You'll be tested here, in the underground training area. These caverns stretch all the way to Triglyph city limits. You could head straight out of town from here. Get to that elevator. That's easier said than done. We'll need bait. You can show everyone else the way. Leave it to me. Don't die. Not here, I won't. It's clearly a diversion! Look out! Go on ahead! Don't let them get away! Jude can handle himself. We need to stay focused on the escape. Yeah. So, you are able to manifest your Chromatis again. That's El's power, isn't it? Yeah. I see. So this is the key of Kresnik. The power of the Void that El commands, the power of origin, can transcend time and space to reach you. That's the kind of power we need to resist Kronos. But Luger, if you use your Chromatis, won't it hasten El's transformation into a catalyst? So you're resisting for El's sake, although that will make for some difficult battles. I appreciate what you are prepared to do, but allow me to share with you a story. There was once a weapon in Riza Maxia known as the Lance of Kresnik. It served as both a lance to destroy the balance of the world, and a key to open the door to a new one. And the Chromatis is like that too? Indeed. Luger's power may be the lance that takes El's life, or the key to saving it. It depends entirely on the intentions of the user. <sighs> Sisters for
We must stop meeting like this, Vice President Kresnik. So, this is what you do now, Ivor? Yes, this is my new occupation. My new life! After failing as your handmaid. Fine. Then out of respect, know that I will not hold back. What a bothersome fellow. Maybe I'll kill him. Good point. I'm always such a bad judge of these things. You too can't stop all of us. Don't be so sure of that, Your Highness. I was a sickly child, you see. Several of my organs had to be transplanted with Spyrex. A doctor named Mathis performed the surgery. He's the one who saved my life. Derek did what? I have since made a few improvements of my own. I now possess double the strength and acuity of a normal man. Can your body take that? No, of course it can't. But that's fine with me, as long as it holds together long enough to crush you. Why would you destroy your body like that? That's for me to know and you to find out. Ah! Oh, Lady yeah, Mira, well. I won't hold back. Yes, as you shouldn't. I've had enough of you, scum. It's time for you all to die. Come along. Finish them. Care of the riffraff. Get my head. 
This was necessary. I love getting stronger! Let's go. Ivor, you are a man of many failures. But even if you add all those failures together, it doesn't compare to all your years of loyal service. Thank you, Ivor. I appreciate everything you did for me. Lady Mila. Something funny? Share it with us. Even foes can come to understand one another. Never took you for a bleeding heart. Enemies kill each other. That is simply what they do. If that's the case, then you know what happens next. You stab me, and I die. Done, and done. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself too much now. Let me tell you something. I only saved you because the CEO said to do so. What? Must have been a real drag paying off that massive loan, but you were happy to play along. <laughs> Don't let him get to you. <laughs> Just the empty words of a sore loser. Let me make a little prediction for you. You'll regret leaving this place until the day you die. Damn twerp, he gave me the same contemptuous look as his bastard brother. Don't just stand there, you goons! Help me! My apologies, sir. I'm afraid the CEO has given us entirely different orders. We were told to bring Director Rideau before him. I figured as much. Probably thinks he can use me as the bridge. Not gonna happen. As you can see, we know the control codes for your Spyrex organs. What? No! No!
No! Damn it! Ah, it feels so good to get out of those icky caves. I hope Jude made it out of there okay. Hey, it's me. Are you all right? Sounds like you're okay. I'm in Triglev. Jude's here. <laughs> I knew he could take care of himself. Luger, let's go meet up with Jude. I'm glad to see you're okay. Yes, thanks to Julius. He saved me when I got pinned down. He took off already, but not without leaving a message with me first. Come find me when you've steeled yourself. Steeled? Also, Julius told me how to get inside the land of Canaan. In order to enter, you have to build yourself a soul bridge. How do we go about building a soul bridge? It requires a human sacrifice. A powerful member of the Kresnik family. So, we have to kill either Luger or Julius? Where is Julius? He said he left a letter for Luger at the house. Let me make a little prediction for you. You'll regret leaving this place until the day you die. <sighs> That's not all. Julius left a message for us, too. with that Rideau guy. He's repulsive. He reminds me a bit of the way you used to be. How dare you? To even suggest that I used to be like that is, well, fairly accurate, I suppose. In those days, I killed many people for the sake of justifying my existence. But all I really wanted was an escape from the insecurity of my own loneliness. Muse. It's a past you must never forget. I know that. I guess I have no business criticizing Rideau. Why, thank you. That's very kind. But if you knew the real me... Who you are right now is the real you. Jude, even you believe that? We cannot change the past, but there is no need to let our pasts dictate our future. To fully overcome your past, you must accept the spirit you've become. Yes, I need to do that. After all, I'm not alone anymore. Is it okay to leave Ivor behind like that? Ivor has been my handmaid since the day he was born. He's devoted his entire life to me. I couldn't bear to impose my will upon him any longer. 
Especially when you're not long for the human realm yourself. I must admit it has been difficult managing without him. Like selecting my clothes, I've always relied on him for that. I made this outfit myself based on garments that Ivor created for me in the past. Why would you ask me? Don't you agree that they suit her well? Well, <clears throat> um... Muse and the Four helped me work out the design. But I suppose it's still a far cry from Ivor's best efforts. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that as king, I must exercise prudence in expressing my personal opinions. Then what would be your opinion as a mere civilian, Erston? <clears throat> Uh, as a gentleman, it would be uncouth of me to pass judgment on a lady's personal appearance. Uh, but if I must, it is elegant. Huh? Elegant? I'm pleased to hear it. So the 28 design committee meetings I held with the four were of some value after all. I guess it isn't easy being the Lord of Spirits either. Isn't Gaius just adorable? <laughs> I never imagined you'd be so much at home on the streets. Hmm. I am capable of many things.